Hello and welcome. Recently, RF Kennedy Jr. has um, declared that he won't automatically automatically commit to supporting Biden if he loses the Democratic Party primary. Democratic presidential candidate Robert F. Kennedy Jr. on Wednesday said he wouldn't commit to supporting President Biden if the incumbent beats him in the party's 2024 primary. Uh, he was asked this at a news station town hall event moderated by Elizabeth Vargas, uh, and he was asked whether he'd pledge to support whoever wins the Democratic nomination. Kennedy replied that, of course, he wasn't going to do that. And she asked him to double down on this. So if you don't get the nomination, you won't support President Biden? And then he replied, I don't know what I'll do. Uh, he'll see, I'll see what happens in this campaign. Let's see what if people are living up to democratic values and having debates and having discussions and, you know, talking to each other. But I'm not going to. But I'm not going to bite. He was then pressed on whether he'd support a, a candidate from another party or run as an independent, and he replied, "My plan is to win the election, and I don't have a plan B." Cornell West, the a candidate running in the Green Party during the 2024 election cycle, has had this to say about that. Your thoughts on RFK Jr.'s statement, number one, on one, obviously doing something that I would never hear Bernie say, and that is, I'm not going to support the nominee, which is pretty courageous in my perspective. Again, well, it is. It's, it it's, is. It's, it's, something, it's something that probably everyone in the Democratic Party probably cried over, over their spilt milk. But again, let, let more on, I, I can't be too mean to them. But also, number two, uh, the idea of regaining the Democratic Party. What, in your perspective, can that ever be done? Because obviously, if third parties like Greens and Libertarians are in the are eventually recognized, you know, you'll still have to contend with Democrats and Republicans. And there I say maybe this could change them. Maybe not for me for the worse or better. Your thoughts on RFK Jr.'s two statements on not supporting Biden, but also trying to regain the party and making it return back to what it once was. Your thoughts? I mean, one, I think it is a very courageous statement, though. You know, I've always had a certain respect for my dear brother, RFK Jr. We worked together we, uh, at his annual gathering in, in, in Las Vegas dealing with environmental racism and tort law. He was always kind to, uh, to bring me in. We had wonderful conversations with he and Sister Carrie, his, his beloved sister, and so forth. Uh, I, I've been very critical of my dear brother, RFK Jr. too, because with that, that flip-flop when it came to... The, Palestinian brothers and sisters and the vicious Israeli occupation. I thought that that didn't reflect a kind of a backbone that you need. You had to be able to stand on principle. You had to be able to stand on integrity. If somebody calls you an anti-Semite, you tell them, I don't have a minute for anti-Jewish hatred. I don't have a second for anti-Jewish sentiment, but that does not stand in the way of me being in solidarity with any people who are being dominated and and subjugated and dealing with apartheid-like conditions, no matter who they are. In this case, it's precious Palestinians. I didn't hear that out of my dear brother RFK Jr. Or the same would be true with Medicare for All. It's a whole host of things that I would put pressure on him. But for him to say that to me, I think is courageous. And we'll see what happens uh, when he's really put to the test. And if that's so, then what, what happens after? I would ask him, have he and his people come our way? Or we, we, we'd be able to try to work some things out to be forces for good against the corporate duopoly. We have to have that sense of uh, jazz-like improvisation and openness and flexibility. This is interesting as both RF Kennedy Jr. and Cornel West have expressed a desire to end the war in Ukraine through a diplomatic solution as opposed to Biden's all-or-nothing approach to it and uh, thus the best chances of peace for the people of Ukraine and averting a larger war. Anyway, I have left links to the sources used down in the description. Feel free to check out those sites. And until next time, have a good evening.